What's happening everyone? Steve here, Cars with Steve, and today I'm gonna to be showing you exactly what you need to do in order to set up Android Auto and Apple CarPlay inside of the 2021 Ford Explorer Limited Hybrid. It's a very straightforward process. Each one literally should only take you about two or three minutes or so. If you have any questions, run into any problems, make sure you drop into the comment section below and let me know and I'll walk you through the process, but it literally is a fairly simple plug and play solution. So let's dive right into it, have a little bit of fun and figure out how we can get these things set up. Adding a phone is also a very straightforward process. All we're gonna do is literally just add Search phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. And follow the instructions. So we're gonna turn on Bluetooth on our phone. And we're gonna wait as Ford Explorer is gonna show up there. Perfect. And we're just gonna tap Ford Explorer. Confirm that the pin displayed on sync matches the pin displayed on your device. Okay, so we just wanna make sure that these numbers match up, which in this case they do. So we're gonna hit yes and pair. Okay, now it's asking. Safety. Please stay alert to changing road conditions and use Sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. Okay, so now that it's finished up with those messages, it's asking us if we want to allow our contacts and favorites to sync. Absolutely, so we're going to hit allow there. And perfect, so we're now connected there. Now, a few things to point out, 911 Assist, I always recommend turning that one on. And the big reason why is because if the vehicle senses that we're in an accident and our phone's connected, it'll automatically dial 911 for us. Automatically contact downloads, yeah, whenever we have a contact that's new, we wanna make sure that the vehicle downloads it so that it's saved inside of the system. And we're just gonna hit finish from there. And as you can see there, I'm now connected. It's really that easy. We've got my call list, contacts, my phone, and a number of other things. In order to connect to Apple CarPlay, we do have to physically be connected. Let's see how that process works. First thing we're gonna do, step number one, take our USB cable, and we're just gonna find any available USB port, and we're simply going to plug it in. Step number one is complete. From there, all we're gonna do is take our USB cable, and we're just going to plug it into our phone and watch what happens. Boom, Apple CarPlay lets you use your phone in a way. So absolutely, in order to use Apple CarPlay, we do have to agree to this. So we're just gonna hit continue. Okay, and some basic terms and conditions. So we do need to accept and agree to this in order to be able to use CarPlay. So we're going to agree. Okay, now wait a minute. Finish setting up CarPlay. So now what it wants me to do is unlock my phone. So enter your password in. If you've got Face ID, etc., we're just going to unlock the device. Boom. Connected, ah, it's really that simple. Now a message showed up on my phone there. Do I want to allow CarPlay with sync while well, my phone is locked? Absolutely, so we're gonna hit allow there and I'm now connected. Now look at this, really, really nice. So we've got the ability to use Google Maps. I can use Waze, I can use Apple Maps. I can use so many different things. So if you don't like to use the factory navigation or maybe you don't have factory navigation in your vehicle, you've got the ability to easily choose between whatever one you'd like to. Like, look at this. We can use the Waze app directly through this middle screen. It's so incredible. Searching for addresses, very, very easy. And then just pressing this button along the bottom in order to bring us back to our home screen. So I love the fact that it's really this simple. We can look my phone to make phone calls we can look at my text messages listen to podcasts livex live is a radio app so some apps will work through this middle screen livex live spotify things like that if for whatever reason you get an app that's not working just make sure that your ios is up to date on your phone i did try to connect to this earlier and i didn't have my phone up to date it was running i think ios 11 I updated to the newest iOS 14 and it easily works. So it connected without a problem. As you can see there, I'm fully up to date. Now, one of the nice things about CarPlay here is that we've also got the ability to change things up a little bit. So if we go to general on our phone, so we go settings, general, we've also got CarPlay along the bottom. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on Wi-Fi. Watch what happens. So we've got sync three, customize and as you can see there we've got a list of different icons and a bunch of different things so if we had other things that we use more like maybe you use podcasts more all we have to do is drag and watch this real time boom real time update so we can easily remove things if we do let's say delete the calendar app remove it it jumps into the very bottom so under more apps so i can easily add it back in if i want to but it's really really nice and then if you ever mess up you kind of don't like the organization you can just reset it back to our default layout three, two, one, and boom, we are back to our default again. So it's really that simple. Now, in order to, so if we take a look there, nope, 
unplugged okay perfect now unplug back in so i accidentally unplugged there okay perfect carplay is back accidentally slipped it out there but looking so as you can see we've got a nice beautiful look now for whatever reason you don't want to use apple carplay but you're physically connected in order to charge up your phone just hit this ford sync button that's going to bring you back to that sync home screen now by default it's going to run off of whatever map is going on in your phone but if you wanted to use the built-in navigation instead of your phone navigation all you have to do is go into apple carplay now, Apple CarPlay, we can completely disconnect it. So if we completely disconnect the Apple CarPlay, as you can see there, it's now going to be based off of our navigation for the vehicle instead. And we can completely remove the phone as well. So it's very straightforward. In order to remove the phone, we can do it through CarPlay there, or we can look through my phone. We can view any active connected devices which really it should just be this iPhone. Perfect, okay. So we've got my phone there, so we can either disconnect it or we can completely remove it. So we're gonna remove and jump back to phone for a second and we're completely disconnected. And that's how we get an iPhone connected to the Explorer. Connecting an Android device is the exact same process. So we can manually connect so we can connect over Bluetooth if we wanna just make phone calls and things like that. But if we wanna use Apple, uh, if we wanna use Android Auto as well, all we have to do is take our USB cable, insert it into the device and watch what happens. Boom, Android Auto extends the Android platform. Exactly what we just saw on the iPhone. We do need to hit continue there. And same thing, we need to agree to these terms in order to be able to use Apple uh, Android Auto. And look at this, connected, watch my phone now. So Android Auto, welcome. We need to unlock in order to continue. So just going to unlock the device, boom, continue. All right, Android Auto would like to turn on Bluetooth and pair. So let's do that. Perfect, and we have launched into Android Auto. So really that simple. Now, a couple things to point out here. Uh, there we go. All right, perfect. Waiting for those last little bits. So on the device, it's making sure that we automatically download our contacts, which we wanna do. And then on my phone, allow access to messages. Yes, and we are connected. So jumping into our home screen there, we've got Google Maps. We can use the Waze app. We can use a number of different things directly through this middle screen as well. So really, really amazing. Now, very similar to what we just finished seeing in Apple CarPlay. If for whatever reason you don't want to use factory nav, or if you don't want to use the built-in navigation on your phone, you want to go to factory navigation. We're just going to hit the exit button there, and that's going to bring us back to this home screen. So we can do a hot press launch in order to get into our maps from there. So really straightforward press that button there in order to bring us back to the Android Auto home screen on the vehicle. But if we want to, very similar to what we just saw in the Apple CarPlay side of things, if we wanted to just get rid of some preferences, so we're just gonna go to Android Auto and we can disable Android Auto, which means I'm still charging the device, but I'm not using Android Auto anymore. I'm now using factory navigation. From there, we can jump into my phone, we can view devices, we've got this active device and we can disconnect or we can completely remove. So let's remove it and boom, now completely disconnected. So it really is that simple. Well, folks, that was a look at the 2021 Ford Explorer and Sync 3. What did you think? If you have any questions, make sure you drop down below and let me know. And please give the video a thumbs up if you found the content useful and subscribe because it definitely helps the channel grow. But until I see you next time, make sure you stay safe.